Hey guys, um, welcome. Another fun integral, and uh, this one is going to require that uh, we do uh, u substitution, uh, which is regular substitution, and integration by parts. Um, okay, so let's get started. As you probably guessed it, that's our u. Um, okay, so I think I have a stuttering start so far. Let's see. Um, so u equals x plus root x squared uh, minus 1. Got it. Okay, where are 2 from here? Well, I did it under there. Okay, how about that? This equals, I'm never going to get a square root better than this. So, so, And that is going to allow us to say now we can expand expand that left side this and right so to dance and cry this is that Monuments for awful events. Right there. U squared minus 2ux equals negative 1. Now, add 1 to both sides and add this quantity to both sides as well. And you're going to get the following. U squared. That looks like an n more than a u, so u squared plus 1 is equal to um, 2ux, if you did what I said to do. Okay, cool. So we know what we're doing next. So that allows us to get x, which is this, right? Because I can cross out right there. And uh, what I've circled, we could write is, and then plus, or, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, I'll write it this way, and you'll see why in a sec. Okay. Now, that's a u. Um, we could do this, right? which is get rid of that and get rid of the exponent. So that's x. So then dx is going to be equal to, on this part we have 1 half u, so dx is just going to be 1 half du. And then on this part, we'll have to remember the derivative of 1 over u. Well, um, you can do it more carefully, but 1 over x has a derivative uh, negative 1 over x squared. So we're going to go with negative 1 over u squared. Okay. Actually, I'm going to keep this because I think we'll need it again later. Okay, so um, I'll like keep it tucked over here. Alright. So by that result, which we can see now, we could just write negative 1 over u squared. And of course du. And this is a u, not an n, again. Okay, so this is dx. Uh, we have dx, so we can replace that. We have a u to replace that. So I think, guys, uh, we're set. Let's uh, write our integral um, so it follows. So we can say that our integral is equal to the following, which is integral, um, and then it's ln of u, right? Uh, and then uh, du is where all, all the trouble comes, right? Du, or rather, ln of u, and then dx is where all the trouble comes, because it's all that junk. So what is all that junk? It's one half, oh god, my writing is tanking, one over two, 
Um, and then du, okay, and I'll write it that way. Instead of collecting my du's or factoring them out, I'll write it exactly as written. But I'm going to keep in mind that that's going to be a negative one half because of that. And so I'm going to write, um, and then I'm going to write minus one half, uh, one over u, <coughs> sorry guys, one over u squared rather, one over u squared du. And I can close the brackets. Okay. Um, all right. That's what we've got. Our integral is, is, is this now. And we're going to split it into two integrals, one there. Uh, notice that ln uh, u is multiplying all of this, so we're going to distribute the ln of u as we split the integral into two. So we're going to say that this is equal to the following. ln u, and we could take out the one half, du, and then minus one half integral, uh, integral, that's four, one more try. All right, I'll live with that. Uh, integral, so you're not irritated, one over u squared, and then ln of u, um, du. Got it. Now, uh, we know that, or you should know that the integral of um, ln of u, and this is by integration by parts, you can find uh, that it's equal to um, u ln u minus u plus c. And that's a u, ln u. Okay, cool. So that's it. All right. Um, and we're not going to write the plus c, but um, that's good to know because we need that right there. We're going to collect the c from here and the c from there and write one c at the end. Okay, cool. So um, using this result then, we could write this part as follows. Um, one half times. to the end James lies in every and that's a U tonight yes we just begin again oh girl it's been a while since we met out there in the cold so now we just have to find the integral of that and that's going to require that we do uh, integration by parts so for that reason, I'm going to uh, replace all of the u's with an a for some variable a. So that way, you know, when we do integration by parts, we won't have a conflict of interest, so to speak. Um, okay, so we have, um, ugh, sorry, integral one over a squared. This is what we're, what we're trying to get at, so we can get at that. Um, and it's ln of a da. So integration by parts formula, I've said enough uh, in this video series, so I'm not going to say it again, uh, but integral u dv is, e is equal to u v minus um, integral of v du. So we just have to make a, a pick of u and uh, a dv, and we're on our way. So let's make um, u ln of a. That way, du is going to be uh, 1 over a dA. And then dv is going to be, um, well, the rest of what we have, which is 1 over a squared dA. And so then v is going to be, well, going backwards here, right? Um, and so, like, you know, if we obviously turn that into a plus to mimic our 1 over a squared situation, then we have to adjust with a minus there. So, well, rather in there, it doesn't matter if it's inside or outside, but let's keep it inside. So now that's a true statement, this right here. Um, I, div I divided by um, negative one on both sides of what we had before. So using that, I could see that this has got to be negative one over a. How handy, right? I took as long saying that as uh, what it would have taken to, for us to calculate the antiderivative there using the power rule. And by telling you about that now, I've undone any efficiency that we got from there. Okay, um, good to know, right? So now this is going to turn out to be the following. Um, uv, which is negative 1 over a, 
I'll lead with V. It's kind of math grammar, UV, so to write it this way, instead of the other way you would have written it. And then um, minus the integral of V, so minus a negative one over A, so I'll just write plus, uh, plus one over A, that's just the V part, DU. Oh, cool, look at what DU is. It's one over A DA. So we won't write that, we'll just write one over A squared DA. Oh no. Okay, does that look bad? I was just, okay, fine. Again, you know, this efficiency we keep getting, I keep destroying. Okay, cool, right there. Oh, but look, now we could use that abusively to see that this integral is just negative one over A, right? Again, looking at that. Okay, so cool. So we have negative one over A, and I'll write this part in black. You'll see it's a bit of efficiency. Negative one over A, lin A, like some kids like to say, that's ln, not lin. And this integral, as I just said, is negative one over A. And we've already talked about why we won't write plus C. So this is it. So this here, fellas, is the integral of this. And therefore, if we want the integral of this, we should just replace all of the guys um, that say A here with a U, and we're good to go. So I guess that's what I thought was efficient, but I wrote A's, so um, I can't directly substitute. But we'll, we'll find some efficiency. I, 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 got, I got you guys. Let's see. The stupid things. Okay, and now. Okay, and uh, this is our integral. This stuff is equal to our integral, like this. This follows from that, and this follows from that. Or our writing follows from the previous line. And here we just said that the integral is going to be this guy with a U in place of A's. Touch my face. Feel the fever in the night. You look into my eyes. You don't really recognize me anymore. Notice that the one half is multiplying both that giant thing and this giant thing so we can take it in front of both giant giant things and write one half and then it's u ln u minus u and then me wait um well no so and we only took out the one half we didn't take out that negative so that's going to make this guy positive and that guy positive so we have after that plus Oh, poorly, I wrote A's here. Come on, man. Um, Alright, guys, I'm sorry. At least I caught it early enough, kind of. Early enough would have been like if I didn't write it. That's the only early enough that's acceptable. Okay. Alright, and so then we've got... I think I just secretly wanted to listen to this song some more. Such a cool song. Another pointless year. Coming at the mouth. This was our original U substitution. So that's what U is. To the rough. You're stretching out. So that equals finalement. I know I've run out of luck This year is a terrible drop If I only had sense enough To turn let it get the way to love I'm back and touch my face
god. And we have to write more. So plus one over. Oh, you get it, you get it. Can we like it? Okay, fine, for the song's sake. Jeez. Okay, and then that's only that part. So we need Ellen of you, which we've already written over here, but we need to somehow shrink it, you know? So we need to move at the speed of light because that's how you like can make objects shrink. So I'm just gonna say dot, dot, dot. We're gonna end here. Take care.